Hey, what's up, fam? This is your boy JB, and you're listening to the Urban Flow 89.1 FM HD2. Like to welcome you guys back to our interview with our special guest, Mr. Mingo Long. What's up, brother? What's up? Yo, man, we having a great time here, man. We having a great time. You know, great dialogue, and um, I can tell you, we are intrigued with your journey. Mm-hmm. You know, we're very intrigued with your journey, man, because I think that all of us at some point in time um, have the aspiration of wanting to act yeah. or wanting to be a part of theater or, mm-hmm. you know, wanting to be a part of the big screen and those kind of things. Right. So have you ever had an opportunity to to be a part of the big screen? Have you or do you have that aspiration? Well, <clears throat> It's an aspiration that's way back in my mind. Okay. okay. <laughs> I haven't really thought about it because I I just like live theater for some reason. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm not going to count that out, of course. Okay. But I haven't had that opportunity to do that. I haven't auditioned for a big screen or anything like that. Okay. Now, let me ask you this question. Um, what do you think the current state of the... What do you think is the current state of the industry? You think the industry is in a good place? Do you think that it's heading in the right direction? Or do you think that maybe, you know, it's kind of at a stalemate right now? What are your thoughts about that? Um, I have mixed thoughts about that because okay. a lot of times a person can be very, very talented. The thing now is getting people into the theater. And what um, a lot of these companies, uh, these shows, they bring in these big names, mm-hmm. um, names that cost a lot of money. But that's how they get people in. But it also is cutting people off that are really, really talented, that doesn't have a name or a, rec- a name recognition. Right. And so they're overlooked, right. you know, because you're bringing in all these big, huge names. And sometimes those people aren't, I don't want to say talented, right. but they don't have the stamina to do an eight-show week, especially on Broadway, an eight-show week. Okay. Because, you know, they're do- used to doing stuff like TV and, and stuff where you have cut. Mm-hmm. You know, and then they can paste that stuff together. Mm-hmm. And whereas on Broadway, if you forget lines or something like that, you gotta you gotta keep going or have to figure out how to get out of that. Like we were talking earlier, yeah, yeah. And you have these people that come in with these big names, but they don't have they have the draw. And then when people start seeing that this person can't act, wow, you know, and that's what sucks, really. You know, which overcuts the people that can really act. Okay, yeah. so I mean, all right, now let's mention Tyler Perry. Yeah. Okay, Tyler Perry has proven to be a very gifted artist or actor, mm-hmm. and he's also a gifted writer. Yeah. Okay. Have you had aspirations to write? I have not had. You know, people ask me that all the time. I'm not much of a writer. I can write, um, and but I haven't sat down to um, try to do that. I mean, eventually I probably will, you know, have to write my own show. You know, mm-hmm. There's one thing. There's one show that I have in my mind. I'm thinking about Flip Wilson. Oh yeah. Um, and oh, yeah. Um, uh, it was uh, one of my um, uh, a show that I wasn't directed in. It was uh, Dream Girls with Jennifer Holiday. I can't even think of the name of the director. I can't. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Um, what is his name? Hold on. Let me think. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> I remember Flip Wilson. Man, he was a great comedian. Um, I think during the time that he was. Um, um, when his shows were being um, streamed and shown on television, I think that he's probably the first. Is he the first one? He's one of the first. He's he is the, the first. He's yeah. the first oh, one. Oh, it was Rajendra yeah. uh, Mahara. Okay. Mahara. Okay. A uh, Maharaj. Uh, he's the one that mentioned to me about Flip Wilson. Yeah. yeah. Flip Wilson was the first one, African American, that yeah. is, to, to do a show like that on television. Exactly. And I worked with his wife, or his uh, ex-wife, Mabel Robinson, out of okay. a School of the Arts in North Carolina, uh, Winston-Salem, Winston doing Salem. the Black Theater Festival. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. Wonderful. So, Wonderful. Um, now, I know his son, Joe. So do you attend these? Are you still current in attending or oh, active in attending these festivals? Um, I haven't in the last few, few years because I've been pretty busy. I can't okay. get off. Um, but when it first started out, yeah, I was there all the time. Every mm-hmm. other year I was there mm-hmm. attending those um, Mm-hmm. That's how I got back into school. That's how. Um, oh my God, that's a long story. Now, let me, um, Go ahead, man. Give how me. how I uh, uh, wondered or I got into theater was a. Uh, it was going through a rough period of my life, um, and uh, I had learned something at Alabama A and M under uh, Neil Bradford. I was in the 
touring choir mm -hmm. and they had taught me the um god's trombones uh, the creation yeah, yeah. by james weldon johnson yeah. uh -huh. and that's how i used to raise money and and so and i started doing that in negro dialect and um and uh, somebody told me about auditions for the Wiz at North Carolina a and State University. And I had no idea what an audition was at the time. And so um, um, I ended up going there. And the only thing I knew was the creation. Mm -hmm. Now, the creation is like close to 15 minutes long. Mm -hmm. And so I'm starting to do a little bit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and God stepped out on space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he looked around and he said, I'm lonely. I'll make me a world and far as the eye of God could see. Mm -hmm. Darkness covered everything. Yes. <laughs> Blacker than a hundred midnights down in the sight that swamped in God's smile. Right. And the light broke and the yeah. darkness had rolled up on one side. Yeah. And the night stood a shining <laughs> on the other and God said, that's good. Okay, so I started doing right. that thing and I did the whole thing. They didn't stop it. Right. And next thing you know, I was cast in The Wiz as the Scarecrow. Okay. After the read through that next day, um, Miss Day, and I remember she said, Mingo, can you um, uh, go down stage and, and turn a quarter turn to the right? And I just stood there. I had no idea what she was talking about. Right. And she said it again, Mingo, go downstairs, uh, downstage, turn a quarter turn to the right. And I said, and then she said, Mingo, you know what that is? I said, uh, no, ma'am. She said, you've had theater, right? I said, no, ma'am. <laughs> Right. They thought that I was an actor. I mean, this a professional actor that came. And, and right. um, so uh, they pulled out everybody together and they worked with, with me through that whole thing and um, got through the whole show, did everything. And then through the Black Theater Festival, that's when they offered me a full ride or full scholarship. Okay. Or everything paid. Wow. And uh, that's how it started. That's, that's how it how started. My started. Isn't that something, yeah. man? <laughs> I tell you, it's amazing. Yo, it's amazing how God works, man. Yeah, and he, he opens up. In, yeah. He opens yeah. up those doors and those opportunities, man. Serious. I tell you, so how many African Americans um, are involved in theater? Oh, there's a lot, but I mean, but the thing is, we all know each other. <laughs> okay. So we all, you know, we have certain types. There are certain types, and. Uh, I see them like whenever I go in auditions, I say, okay, I know this person's going to be there and we're all auditioning for, the, auditioning for the same role. And the good thing about like what Hamilton that's coming, that's in is, um, you know, they're using African-Americans. Um, and that's the good thing because now it's a lot of non-traditional casting that is not just the roles just for white people. If it's Shakespeare, they're going to use a black person now. Okay. You know, so that that's the good thing that's opening up for us, you know. Okay. Um, and Hamilton has helped doing a lot of that because, you know, we're playing presidents. Okay. So how likely or unlikely unlikely is it for a person to walk off the street and do an audition and get the, I mean, is that is that possible? It happens, yeah. Is that it's happen? rare, but it happens. Okay. You know, like uh, the time when Rent was going on, they were just pulling, you know, because they needed that raw talent. Right. Uh, you know, people that can ski that could sing and scream and you know just uh they just needed that rawness not uh, people that were refined right and there were people that were just walking in and oh. you still find that now okay you know but the hard thing about that is now you need an agent or you have to get in uh to the audition room and they have um uh, non-union and union okay and so what ends up doing is they will see all the union first before they see those non-union people and then because the time is late, they would have to tell them to come back another time. Right. It's the same thing over and over. Same thing over and over yeah. and over but and see, over. See, that's how Jennifer Holiday made it. Really? You know, in mm -hmm. Dreamgirls. Mm -hmm. She was a, they, somebody saw her in a church. Mm -hmm. You know, she wasn't an actress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you, man, you know, your your, your experiences has been uh, very, very exciting. Yes, it is. Very exciting. <laughs> I mean... Well, I mean, for a young person who's aspiring to become an actor, I mean, what advice, I mean, could you give them, mm. you know, especially when you take up, when you observe the current state of the industry, what advice can you give them that would help them to stand out? Well, mm. it has to be something that you love. Um, a, a lot of times parents will see that in their children. Uh, but the, the sad thing sometimes is parents don't want their children to go that way because they don't think it's any money. But if they see that child is uh, talented, that can sing or dance or, you know, that there's something there that's just different with that child, they should invest and try to get that child into classes um, and to see if there's a talent there. Mm -hmm. Just like um, this uh, Simone Biles, that gymnast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. 
mm-hmm. you know, but she, you know, she started late in her life, but look at her now, mm-hmm. look at her now, you know, um, so it's, it's, it's just that thing. You have to see if that, that child can let you know if they have that talent, you know, because they like to uh, sing in church or, you know, they're outspoken, mm-hmm. you know, and that energy that they have, it has to be redact- re, uh, directed to something, mm-hmm. you know, and it might be theater. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It might be theater. And you just let them try out and audition for things. Mm-hmm. So have you thought about going to the classroom and to teach? Uh. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, you know, I am qualified to teach. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, and you know what? I uh, my sister's been trying to get me to teach, you know, and I thought about it. I don't know if I'm there yet because mm-hmm. when I was in grad school, I hated putting those those programs together. Mm-hmm. I forgot what it, you know, writing a synopsis and all. I hated that stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, I could teach theater, yeah, mm-hmm. um, but when it comes to writing that, I can't even think of the name of that thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but mm-hmm. um, I I plan on maybe years down mm-hmm. uh, doing that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but who knows who knows what mm-hmm. happened well no. listen i'm looking at your resume here brother oh, and right. um i'm telling you man you've been a part of a lot of shows i'm like let's see make sure i'm reading this right broadway off broadway liberty yeah that's what i just closed okay you just closed liberty you were part of south pacific yeah and Pearl Pearly. Pearly. Yeah. Okay. You were part of House of Flowers. Mm-hmm. Showboat. Yeah. Under the Bridge. Yep. The Robber. Bridegroom. Mm-hmm. Empire. Mm-hmm. Happy Elf. Yeah. Okay. Those are Broadway, off Broadway slash off Broadway. And then National Tours. Okay. Your first National Tour was Parade. Parade. What was that like, man? That was amazing. Dude. That, matter of fact, that was when I first moved to New York or New Jersey. Okay. I booked that show. Um, and it was a that show was amazing. I was uh, um, working with our, our Harold uh, Harold Prince, uh-huh. who's the Harold Prince. That's the man in theater. That's the um, and um, it was just amazing. Really? Yeah. Well, wow. then there's less miserables. Yeah, Les Mis, Les Mis, Les oh, Miserables. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, which is on Broadway now. It's uh, I did the tour. I did two tours of that. Wow. Yeah. And don't bother me. I can't cope. I can't cope. Yeah. And higher and higher. Yeah. And that one right there, that was with the Harlem Gospel Singers. Wow. Yeah, I worked with them. I, I was in uh, Germany for three years. Let me see. It was like six months for three years. Yeah. I mean, Mingo, man, you, you, you are uh, you're a veteran, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, brother, you are a veteran, man. I yeah. tell you, boy, this resume is very, you know, it's very impressive. Yeah. I mean, then regional, you did Memphis. Oh, yeah, I just closed that one, too. Really? Yeah, I just closed that. Okay, Mary Poppins and... Yeah. Wow, I mean, but what is it like being on the road, though, man? On I the mean, road again? <laughs> yeah, what is it like? I love it. Uh, it's uh, because you, you get to go places where you never thought you would be able to go. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I have been to... I probably almost every state in the United States. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are very few that I have not gone or never have not been in, and that's the thing about tours. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't have anybody to hold me back or to hold me down. So, mm-hmm. um, just go. Wow. Okay. Well, listen, we're coming to the top of the hour. Oh wow, that was fast. Yeah, we're coming to the top of the hour, and um, you know, we're gonna play one more song, and then after the top of the hour, you know, we will continue um, uh, with our interview with Mingo Long. All right, everybody, just stay tuned. And continue to listen and enjoy. <laughs> 